Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I make my vegan Alfredo sauce. It's a sauce that you can use for a lot of different applications. It's really easy, which is kind of the theme for my recipes, and um, it's really tasty. So here are the ingredients you're going to need for this vegan Alfredo sauce. First, we're going to start with the soak cashews. It's really important to soak your cashews. If you don't have time to soak your cashews, then you can boil them on your stove top for about, you know, 10, 15 minutes. But you know what? Just soak them overnight. The longer you soak them, the softer they'll be and the easier they'll be to blend and your sauce will be the creamiest, especially if you don't have a high speed blender. So half a cup of soaked cashews, one medium-ish uh, onion, three cloves of garlic, a little bit of lemon juice, fresh, preferable, um, some garlic powder, some veggie bouillon, olive oil, some nutritional ye yeast, um, known as nooch in vegan circles <laughs> or vegan crack, um, some salt and pepper to taste. You will need a blender. If you don't want or have fresh garlic, you can definitely use jarred garlic or just more of the garlic powder, but it is kind of nice to have the fresh garlic. And then the last thing that I use is Parmesan cheese. And I like this Violife Parmesan cheese because that gives it that authentic flavor. And that's it for the sauce. So let's get making it. First thing I want you to do is dice up your onion and crush your garlic. So after your onions have sweated for a little bit, um, and I did add a little bit of water just because I didn't want them to get too brown and crispy. Now you can add your garlic. You want it to just get soft and kind of sweet, just like the onions. And if they get a little dry, you can always add a little water. I think this is good. You just want to make sure that you have softened the onions and the garlic because now everything is going into the blender and it's going to be super easy. This was the longest step in the whole process. It is worthwhile doing because it, caramelizing the onions and softening the garlic really adds a ton of flavor to the sauce. To the bowl of your blender, you're going to add your softened cashews. Now I have drained and rinsed these. Just throw those in there. We're going to start with one cup of veggie broth. And we'll add more water if it gets a little thick. You're going to want to add one quarter cup of nutritional yeast. That'll give it extra cheesy flavor. Um, I always add some olive oil to mine. You don't have to, like I say, you don't have to use it to cook the onions. You don't have to use it to make your sauce, but the mouth feel is better when there's a little bit of fat in there. So I always add some olive oil to mine. Not, not maybe somewhere between a teaspoon and a tablespoon, but that's like I say, totally up to you. I'm going to add a little bit of extra garlic in the form of garlic powder. I'm going to add a half a teaspoon but I like my Alfredo sauce to be really garlicky, which is probably my Portuguese heritage. I'm gonna add a little bit of lemon juice, half a teaspoon, third of a cup of that grated Parmesan cheese, the Violife. Earth Island, Follow Your Heart are the same company in Canada. I believe it's called Earth Island. They couldn't use the name Follow Your Heart, but it's the same company. They have a Parmesan cheese that's also really good. So I'm gonna add that in there. And I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper. I am not gonna add salt just yet because the thing is your broth will likely have your bouillon or whatever you use will likely have a little salt. And we don't want this to be too salty. We can always add more salt later. And then we're just gonna add those onions and garlic. So that's all in here. Sorry about that. Ah, 
So that's all in here and now we're just going to blend it until it's super super smooth scraping down the sides of the blender as we go. I don't know how long it'll take it'll really depend on your blender. If you don't have a high speed blender it might take longer. Just definitely take the time to blend it super well because that'll make a much nicer sauce. When it's done, you can just pour it into a jar and you can store it in the fridge for when you need it. Like I say, you can store this in the fridge and use it at a later date. I'm going to make Alfredo penne with mushrooms and peas for dinner tonight. What I'm going to do tonight is actually mix everything together and put it in a casserole dish with a little bit of breadcrumb topping and throw it in the oven. So I'll show you how that works. Now I'm ready to make dinner. So I've just boiled two cups of whole wheat penne and I have sauteed my mushrooms. When I saute my mushrooms to add to this recipe, <clears throat> when they're done, I like to just put a splash of balsamic vinegar in there and let that sort of saute off and almost get a little syrupy. It gives the mushrooms a ton of flavor to put in here. When the pasta was almost done, I added a cup of peas into the water just so that they could get thawed out and cooked just a little bit. And now I'm going to mix everything and I'm going to show you what I do. So I've got the same pot that I boiled my pasta in. There's really no point in dirtying anything else. And I'm going to pour my sauce in there. I think uh, I'm, I'm just going to pour two thirds in there for now. I'm not sure if I'll need more. I can always add more, but I don't want it to be too saucy. And I'm just going to let that warm up a little bit. It'll actually thicken up a fair amount. I think I might actually need all of it. The sauce is heated up nicely. You can tell it's the perfect consistency because when you drag your spatula through it, you can see sort of a clear trail behind it. I don't know if you can see that. I hope you can. And I'm just going to add everything into here. So first of all, I've got my two cups of two cups dry. Um, boiled penne and one cup of peas. So I'm going to add that in there. I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but I didn't cook the pasta 100% al dente. I left it just, just a little undercooked because I am going to put it in the oven. If you're not going to put it in the oven, obviously you want to cook it fully. So then I have my mushrooms that I sauteed and just sort of finished with a little bit of balsamic. I'm going to mix that in. I'm going to put in one more quarter cup-ish of the Parmesan cheese. And that will really thicken things up. I've got a casserole dish for baking it. And I'm going to try to get it in there without, again, making a mess. Now I'm just going to put a little bit of seasoned panko breadcrumbs on top of this. What I'm going to do is put the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Put it in there for maybe about half an hour. I will cover it with tin foil. It'll let the noodles finish cooking without getting too dried out. And I'll pull the foil off for the last 10 minutes or so, just so that the breadcrumbs can, can brown. And that's the recipe. Not a complicated recipe. The part that takes the longest is the sweating of the onions and softening of the garlic. And that I think is really important in order to add a lot of depth of flavor to the recipe, but really an easy recipe. If you don't like as much garlic as I do, maybe start with just two cloves, omit the powder, and then taste it after you've blended it to see if you need to add a little bit more pow powdered garlic. I mean, Alfredo sauce, traditionally is fairly garlicky. I also think that it's important to add that the, the vegan Parmesan cheese because that adds that umami salty sort of flavor. If you don't have any, if you can't find any, you might want to add a little bit more of the nutritional yeast or if you have some miso paste, you can add 
maybe a, a half teaspoon of that. I didn't actually add any salt to that recipe because as I suspected, the broth was salty enough and then the Parmesan cheese is salty. If you make it, tag me on Instagram. Take a picture and, and put it on Instagram and tag me. I would love to see how it turns out for you. Now, it does use cashews. That is one of my favorite ingredients for making sauces. If you can't eat cashews, I, I'm not sure. It, it might work with um, sunflower seeds. I really don't know what else you could use. It, this recipe might just not be for you. I just like recipes that are fast, tasty, and provide me with leftovers. <laughs> if uh, I'm lucky enough to have one or both of my kids over for a meal, there's never any leftovers. <laughs> that recipe that I just made would probably feed, definitely feed two people, uh, probably would feed a family of three, especially if you put a little uh, bread with it or, or a side salad, something like that. You don't have to put mushrooms and peas in yours. You can put spinach, broccoli, any of those things would work in that. Tag me on Instagram if you make it. I would love to see that. I hope you like the video. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe because most of you who watch are not subscribed. I would really appreciate it. So take care.